Hi, I'm Aaron Repke, Director of Product Marketing for Electric Actuation at Emerson. Today we're talking about the Bettis RTS Failsafe Quarter Turn Electric Actuator. We've got it mounted here on a Fisher V-Ball valve, and we're going to talk about some basic setup and configuration of this actuator. You'll want to refer to your user manual and be careful to note all instructions and safety recommendations. We're going to talk about uh, rotating the user interface. You can refer to the instructions in section 5.2 of the user manual. You will also need a five millimeter Allen key to complete this activity. First of all, we want to turn off power because we will be opening up the electronic enclosure. Power is off and we're going to remove the four hex head uh, bolts at the corners of the user interface. These are captive screws, so you don't have to worry about uh, losing them. four bolts are loose now and we'll carefully remove the display cover. Now we have the display removed. You'll see there's a um, electrical connection here. You want to be careful of that. But basically this display can now be rotated in 90 degree increments and reinstalled to best fit your application. Just be mindful not to uh, snag the electrical connection on anything and not to over rotate it. So we'll demonstrate here just moving at 90 degrees. Again, carefully put the cover back on. It's a tight fit. And you'll snug down the fasteners again. Tighten them up in a star type pattern according to the user manual. And torque specifications are in the user manual. We're ready to power it back up. Everything's completely uh, reassembled and ready to go. There you have it.